an app that can solve a lot of problems in English. You're facing problems in English, you're making mistakes. Use this app to remove all your problems and the mistakes that you might be making. And set the formality too. Whether you want to keep it neutral, whether you want to keep it informal or formal. So they're trying to explain to you through different examples too. As you can see here, the word effect doesn't seem to fit. Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English and improving your English with me. Well, in today's lesson, I have an awesome app for you. I'm going to tell you about this awesome international app that is going to help you with all your English problems. So this app is going to solve all your English problems. What is this app? How to use it? I'm going to give you full demo, proper demo on how to use this app and what all problems this app can solve for you to improve your English. So are you all ready for this? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor, certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK. And before beginning, please subscribe the channel so that you can get all the lessons that I upload for you on the channel. Please like the video and share it with your friends too. Now coming back to today's lesson, the app, the app that I have for you. So this is an awesome app that can help you with writing your emails as a working professional. We are required to write emails, don't we? So writing emails, making projects, you're writing a report, any kind of written English work, assignments if you're in college, you are going to get help with this particular app that is Grammarly. Now Grammarly is an app that can help you with your writing skills and in turn you can improve your English. A lot of times we don't understand the sentence structure, the mistakes that we might be making. What is the mistake? What is the problem area? And what is the correct alternative? It tells you everything. And how to use it properly? I'm going to tell you. So it has both free of cost version and paid version. If you go for paid version, obviously you are going to get so many features, like endless features. But if you are going for the free of cost version, still there are so many hacks with the particular app that you can use it for your benefit. And a lot of people don't know how to use that free of cost version to its full potential what all it can offer, how to use it. I'm going to give you the complete demo on how to use Grammarly app for all your English problems, especially improving your English mistakes. Now, a lot of time you might be recording your voice when you're doing your English speaking practice. You record the voice, you have the content that you've spoken. What kind of mistakes have you made? Where have you made mistakes? This app is an awesome way to check what mistakes are you making while speaking? Because what you can do is you can simply type everything down in a word file, in a document file, and you can paste that content as it is in the Grammarly app. I'm going to show you everything and then you can check it. So whatever you're recording while you're doing your speaking practice, for example, you are doing mirror talk and you've recorded your voice. Now, if you want to check whether you're speaking correct or not, what kind of mistakes you're making, this app is going to help you. Hence, it is also improving your speaking in some ways. So I'm going to show you how to use Grammarly. Let's get started with the demo now. So now what you have to do is you have to simply type Grammarly in your Google Chrome. But when you're searching, you have to pay close attention to the correct website. So you'll get a lot of websites but you have to check for the additional that is this. Okay, so you can see a green color G that is your logo for Grammarly. Okay, so get Grammarly, it's free, right? Responsible AI that ensures your writing and reputation shine. So basically Grammarly would help you with your writing and new features have been added to this particular app, this particular uh, app that we are using AI integrated features. So all the updates that have been done in 2024, we are going to cover everything in this demo. All the new updates, how to use them, everything is going to get covered. So let's 
So here we are on the dashboard and we can also open a demo document. So whenever you go to this particular app, you'll get a demo document. Set your goals. Now this is something kind of something that you can do and it will set your goals. What kind of audience is there? General audience, knowledgeable audience or an expert. So who is going to read that particular piece of writing or what kind of audience do you want? So general is general, your friends, knowledgeable, your colleagues, expert. I think that is going to be the higher management if they're reading it, yeah, then definitely expert. Formality, informal, neutral, and formal. So we can select so many options. What kind of formality? Like recently, in my recent lesson, you must have watched it, the difference between the words talk, discuss, and converse. I was telling you about the formality. The level of formality matters a lot when we are using words, vocabulary. And here you can set the formality too, whether you want to keep it neutral, whether you want to keep it informal or formal. So that's a great way. Domain is something that is paid, but that's okay. There are so many things which are free of cost available to us. So, intent. So intent, what is your intent? Intent is the purpose of speaking or writing something. Do you want to inform? Do you want to describe something? You're telling a story. You want to convince somebody, you want to recommend something to somebody, you want to make a request. So there are so many intentions of writing something or speaking something. So whatever we speak, the intention of communication, what is the intention behind that communication, right? So you can just select something. Let's select mm, convince. Okay, let's do that. And done. Okay. So can you see? The basics, there are so many suggestions. Misspellings and grammatical errors can affect your credibility. So this is again an error. So this is a demo kind of paragraph that is given to us. Everything that is underlined with the red line is basically some kind of mistake. Okay, and you can see all the reviews that have been given here. So for misspelling, the correct, it's the error of a spelling. So it said that correctness, correct your spelling. It is also telling you what kind of mistake is this. It's a spelling mistake. And the correct spelling is given here. You simply click on the accept button and the spelling is corrected automatically. Okay. Now the word here, misspelling and grammatical errors can affect your credibility. So this is wrong here. Effect is wrong. Effect is a noun and we want a verb here. So verb is affect the spelling with a as you can see here. Correct your spelling. Now this is something that is there. It's still telling you that you have to correct your spelling. Let's see. Uh, they're trying to explain to you through different examples too. As you can see here, the word effect doesn't seem to fit this context so the context is obviously of the usage of the word like i always tell you the usage of words they differ so effect and effect they mean same but the usage is different because effect is our verb so we will simply accept and this is going to get corrected the same goes for misuse commas right and other types of punctuation so here this comma is extra let me remove it and yeah it becomes absolutely perfect punctuation and other types of punctuation so in punctuation as you can see there is a space and it is suggesting remove space and i would accept it and it's going to get corrected not only will grammarly underline these issues in red it will also show you there is a missing word here, but it will also, and we'll accept it, but it will also show you, show you. So showed, showed is wrong here. It's wrong. We will never use showed. Change the verb form. It should be show. Let's see what they're saying. Yes, show. So accept. But it will also show you how to correctly write the sentence. So if you're speaking something and you're recording it, what you can do is you can write it down in the form of paragraph 
and you can paste it here and check your mistakes. So in this manner, what you can do is you can improve your speaking too. And obviously, if you're writing an email, you're writing a project, there's an assignment, you're writing a report, any written work of yours can be corrected with the help of Grammarly. Now, one thing that I want to tell you is do not rely on Grammarly for giving you pre-written work. Grammarly does not write things for you. No, you have to write it on your own. Grammarly just corrects all your mistakes. It's basically used to refine what you have written. Whatever you're writing, use Grammarly to refine it. Refine it to its maximum potential. So this is just a free of cost version that I'm using right now. As you can see, a free of cost version. And look, so many features are already available to us. So that's it. That's it for today. That is the Grammarly app for you. Grammarly to not only improve your writing, but also improve your speaking. An app that can solve a lot of problems in English. You're facing problems in English, you're making mistakes. Use this app to remove all your problems and the mistakes that you might be making. Improve your English, improve your English speaking skills too. Do not forget to check out the other lessons. I have also recommended other apps, a lot of apps for you to improve your English. Go check out the playlist of English speaking apps. Improve your English using all the apps and keep practicing. That's it for today. That is it. Now I'm going to meet you again with a new lesson. Till then everybody, take care and bye.